Hello again, guys uh, and girls. Uh, don't want to leave you guys out or you girls out, uh, but just want to say hey. Uh, say that uh, welcome back to Home Group. Glad that you are here. Um, glad that you guys are getting to be here every single week, um, getting some consistent teaching, that sort of thing. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys aren't too hopped up on uh, just junk food and snacks and things like that. Hopefully, if you are, you'll sleep well tonight. Uh, so anyway, last week or last video, uh, Richard did a great job of just kind of talking about the kind of the attributes of God that we can't have. These attributes include things like knowing everything, being all-powerful, uh, and being everywhere. And these are the attributes that make God, God. These are the attributes that make him who he is. This week, we want to talk about what we call the communicable attributes of God, the ones that we actually can have. And these are the attributes of God that he is perfect in. Um, he is perfect and complete in his whole being. Everything about God is perfect and complete. Including in this, there's this attributes of love, knowledge, holiness, justice, truthfulness, and mercy. All of these attributes, whether it's his love, his justice, his truthfulness, his mercy, we as people, as humans, as created beings, uh, we have the ability to be these things as well. We have the ability to be merciful. We have the ability to be truthful. We have the ability to be just. If, and only if, we know the Lord, can we be made more and more like the Lord in these things. And so this week you're going to see from Scripture where these attributes are, where they take place. We see some of them in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We see some of them take place in our lives. Uh, and we are called to grow in these things. We're called to become more and more like God or like Christ in these things. And it's through God and through Christ that he enables us to be these things. So these attributes are wildly important because what they do is they allow us to know God, our creator, on a deeper level. Because that means that the more that we can be made like him in these attributes, the more that we can know God. And so I want you guys to pay attention this week, really dive into these things and begin looking into your own life. Do you see these qualities? Do you see areas in your life uh, that these qualities need to grow? Do you mirror God in these attributes? And if not, then maybe something to look into. It may be something to ask your leader. Do you see these in me? Ask your friends, do you see these in me? So after this, you guys are gonna talk and you'll have some questions. Um, and then we'll see you guys again next week. I hope that you enjoy Home Group. Pay attention to your leaders. Really dive into this. Uh, and we'll see you guys again next week.